Hi everyone, this is Manas, your friend and tutor and guys I'm back with another video series on brother traces of lines and before watching this video I would suggest all of you to go ahead and watch my video on the concept development of traces of lines and there I'll explain each and everything what exactly a horizontal trace is, what is a vertical trace and how they can be precisely uh, located our position. Now if you have seen that video, no problem, go ahead with this problem series and here we go. This is going to be problem number one. So what we do have is a line BC, ATM and long. So let me just very quickly write down all the data which has been given to us. Here we go. So we've got the true length. True length in the form of 80 millimeters. Then we do have its inclination with HP and with VP. So theta and this is phi. So guys theta is 45 degrees and phi is 30 degrees now we need to draw its projection okay this is something that we've been doing for quite some time and secondly we need to work out its traces that is both HP uh, HT rather and VT assume point B 20 mm above and in front of HP and VP okay so so we have this HA is equal to DA both of them are same and they are equal to 20 millimeters so that's it these are all the data which have been given to us. Now let's quickly start off by making the reference line. And first of all, let me put this up H A and D H above and D below. Here we go H and that's D done. Now what? Well, what we can do is we can make this 80 millimeters along with this 45 degrees. Here it is 45 degrees theta. This is 80 millimeters and this is again 80 millimeters, but with an angle phi 30 degrees. So this has been used. This has been used and this has been used. What now? Well, what you can do is you can, in order to make the final projection, you can produce a line from C1 dash, which is going to hit somewhere here. And this is going to be the corresponding top view of C1 dash. And that's C1. Now, what you can do is rotate this, rotate this BC1 with respect to B. Okay, keep one leg of your compass at B, other leg at C1, and then give it a clockwise rotation. And this point is C. That's it. Join C with V so that you can have the final top view and that's it. Similarly, you can go from C to head upwards. This point will give you point C to dash. Okay. Now with B dash as center and B dash C to dash as the radius, give it an anti-clockwise turn and that's it. This is exactly where you'll hit and that's C dash. So that's the final front view. Now guys, we are supposed to find the traces. Projection has been made. No issues. You can also go ahead and take the angle measurement okay of the front view that is alpha and of the top view that is beta you can do that no problem this is something which we have been doing for quite some time now what we are really interested in is locating the horizontal as well as vertical trace and horizontal trace is something or rather the point um, which we obtain when we extend the line and let it pass through the horizontal plane okay or when you extend the line so that it meets the horizontal plane at a certain point then that point is a horizontal trace and when you extend the line so that it meets the vertical plane at at a particular point then that point is a vertical trace so here first of all let me this point right here this is nothing but h i'll show you that's h okay and when you extend the top view when you extend the top view the point where it intersects the xy line has to be referred as v and if you have seen my previous video, you should know what this is all about. Remember this. Now, pass vertical lines from V and H like this. When you extend the front view, okay, when you extend the front view, it will meet this vertical line through V somewhere here. This point is what you refer to as vertical trace. V and VT, both of them are on a same vertical line. Similarly, on extending the front view, we get the VT and on extending the top view, we will get the HT where H and below H will have somewhere here, we'll have HT and on extending the top view somewhere here, this is the precise location where we'll be having the horizontal trace. So this is exactly how you can find out the traces and guys, there is something very interesting which we can actually make out or rather conclude from this particular problem. The thing is, um, <clears throat> let me let me call it as a property okay property and let me state them one by one number one this is the front view okay 
then we have H and then we have VT. All of them are lying on a straight line. So you can write front view H and VT all of them on a straight line on a straight line. The second property or the second conclusion that we can work out is that this is the top view. This red color line that you see CB is a top view. HT and V. So we've got top view. We've got HT and V again all of them all of them. Um, lie on a straight line. Well, that's true. The third thing is H and HT. Again, they lie on a vertical line. And the fourth conclusion that we can actually work out is V and VT. These two, these two points rather, they also lie on a vertical line. And these, these are the conclusions are going to be very important for us and it's better that you guys should note this down very important okay so that's it guys that's all for today i'll see you again with a new video with a fresh problem until then take care and have a nice day thank you